this is a pre-built version of the application so if we go ahead and uh, run it now uh, suppose a uh, company's hiring decisions are based on uh, two interviews and the score for each interview is on a scale of uh, 0 to 10 and this is a score for candidate interview number one and this is a score for his uh, second interview and uh, support vector machine sequential minimal optimization was uh, implemented here and we obtained this uh, decision boundary and found those uh, three support vectors that are also displayed here and uh, the candidates uh, to this side of the boundary were uh, not hired and those to uh, this side were hired and this candidate was uh, misclassified next let's go ahead and uh, classify some uh, new candidates and uh, try to uh, predict based on their interview scores if they will be hired or not so a candidate with those two uh, scores is uh, classified as uh, minus one which means that we have a will not be hired uh, prediction so another candidate with uh, those two scores is uh, classified as one which means we have a will be hired uh, prediction I will uh, start by uh, creating a new project and uh, here we will need the full JDK since uh, we will be doing uh, JavaFX and uh, we will have uh, two classes a support vector machines class where uh, the SMO logic will be and an uh, application uh, driver class with a main method and since we will be doing uh, JavaFX it will extend from uh, application and by uh, doing that we have to implement this method and uh, this is uh, training data that uh, we will be using so those are the scores for the two interviews for each candidate and this is uh, the label column so uh, plus one means the candidate was uh, hired and uh, minus one means he was uh, not hired and uh, here we will have uh, two arrays x array will contain the scores and the uh, y array will contain the labels and uh, we will need to do uh, matrix operations and I already downloaded this uh, commons uh, math and used it on uh, this project so let's copy it and uh, paste it uh, here and we will go to uh, properties and java build path and add the uh, jar and uh, we will have a uh, constructors here that will uh, take uh, two matrices one representing uh, the features and another one representing uh, the labels and uh, let's define this here 
and we will uh, instantiate a support vector machines instance passing in X array and uh, Y array as uh, matrices. Now, uh, before going any further with the code, let's do a quick introduction. So, uh, support vector machine is a hyperplane separating a set of uh, positive and uh, negative items with a maximum uh, margin. And this is the formula for the output of a linear support vector machine. And the objective is to find uh, W and B for a hyperplane with a maximum margin. And in order to maximize the margin, we end up with the following optimization problem. We want to minimize this subject to uh, this uh, constraint. And the way we solve this type of problem is by using uh, Lagrange. So we uh, subtract the constraints from what we want uh, to do. So we have uh, the sum of all the constraints subtracted from this equation. And uh, alpha here is the uh, Lagrange multiplier. And uh, we take uh, partial derivative with respect to uh, W and uh, B and set them to zero. And we end up with those two equations. Now, uh, sequential minimal optimization solves the smallest possible optimization problem at every step. And uh, the smallest possible optimization problem involves two alphas since they must obey a linear equality constraint, this one that we just uh, derived here. Meaning uh, changing only one alpha might cause this equation to be violated. And we have uh, two components to SMO a heuristic to choose which two alphas to optimize and an analytic method to solve for the two alphas and uh, at every step SMO chooses two alphas to optimize together and finds the optimal values for the two and then uses the new values to update the support vector machine so we will have uh, two instance uh, variables for the features and the label and uh, we will initialize those two in the constructor and we will have this uh, alpha instance uh, variable and uh, initialize it in the constructor And uh, this method will uh, perform sequential minimal optimization while we are uh, smaller than the max number of uh, iterations. And uh, let's define B here. And uh, here we will uh, keep track of the number of uh, alpha pairs optimized and uh, return that. And uh, let me define this uh, static helper method that uh, does item to item multiplication for uh, two matrices and uh, returns a, a new matrix having uh, the results and here we will go into a loop and uh, here we had uh, this equation for a linear support vector machine and uh, we obtained this equation here for uh, W so we take W and uh, plug it here uh, 
and uh, use that uh, here so we do an item to item multiplication of y and uh, alpha and uh, we multiply that uh, by x from here and x from here then we add uh, b and we subtract the label this would give us uh, the error and uh, let's add this uh, epsilon and this uh, slack penalty c that uh, I will be showing what uh, it does later so here we uh, calculated the error for the first alpha and uh, to move forward alpha has to uh, violate KKT conditions so uh, those conditions are that uh, alpha is 0 is uh, equivalent to the example being uh, correctly labeled with room to spare and alpha is equal to C is equivalent to the example being misclassified or in the margin and alpha between 0 and C is equivalent to the example being a support uh, vector and uh, this method will uh, check for KKT violation and we will call it uh, from here and uh, this will uh, select the index of the second alpha to uh, optimize and we will uh, call it from here and uh, then we will uh, calculate the error for the second alpha and uh, keep a copy of uh, alpha i and uh, alpha j and uh, we want to uh, bound the alphas according to uh, this and uh, this method will uh, do that and uh, we will call it from here now uh, eta is the optimal amount to uh, change the second alpha and this is how we calculate it and we use it uh, here for calculating the second alpha alpha j so this uh, calculates it and uh, this method optimize an uh, alpha pair and uh, returns a flag and uh, this method optimizes uh, b and we will uh, call those uh, from here and uh, we will need this uh, helper method for uh, clipping uh, the alpha and uh, this will uh, optimize uh, alpha i same as uh, alpha j but in the opposite uh, direction so uh, this is for uh, clipping the alpha j and this is for uh, optimizing uh, alpha i and uh, let's uh, define this uh, minimum alpha optimization and uh, this will uh, optimize the alpha pair So here we are uh, clipping alpha j and here we are uh, optimizing alpha i same as uh, alpha j but uh, in the opposite uh, direction 
and uh, this is the code for uh, optimizing uh, B. And uh, let's define uh, W. And uh, this method will uh, calculate it. And uh, this one does the uh, classification. And we will uh, calculate and uh, set W here in the constructor. And uh, finally, we will have those uh, get methods for alpha and w and uh, b. Now uh, here, let's uh, define this uh, method to display the information uh, tables. And uh, let's define uh, this as being a, a zero. And we will call the display info table from uh, here. And uh, this method will handle uh, command line uh, entry. And uh, this is uh, JavaFX code that uh, does uh, display. And uh, calling uh, launch from uh, here will end up uh, triggering a call to the start method. Next, uh, let's go ahead and uh, test run the application. So this is the decision boundary that we discovered and uh, those are the three support vectors. And uh, this is the W's and the B that we also discovered. And those candidates were not hired and those were hired and this one was uh, misclassified. And here we have the score for candidate interview number one and this is a score for his uh, second interview. Next, uh, let's try to uh, classify a new candidate and uh, see if uh, we predict that he will be hired or not. So this one was uh, classified as one, which means that we have a will be hired uh, prediction. Let's try another one. So this one was uh, classified as minus one, which means we have a will not be hired uh, prediction. And uh, let's do one more thing. Let's change uh, this uh, C, maybe increase it to eight and see what will happen. So here we go. Now. Uh, this looks like uh, overfitting, so uh, this became the uh, support vector, and this, those two are still the support uh, vector.